Hello there guys, and wow, here we are again, episode 5, vlog, wow, well, vlog number 5, um, I know it's been quite a while, but I'm finally back, and today, well, I've decided I'm going to do a dump run, I'm going to get rid of all this, um, I've already got the trailer hooked up, as you can probably see, we're all ready to go, um, I think what the main thing to do is I'm going to get rid of all of this, like the bags here and all this tubs of rubbish all this rubble and everything like that um i might keep hold of this cement here because i think some of it might come in useful at a later date um but i think it's finally here to test if this trailer is going to fit it all and well to see if it works all right really um so i think we'll get this quickly opened up here there we go right so i'm gonna get loaded up so i'll catch up with you guys once everything is in the trailer right there we go all sorted managed to get it in um quite a tight fit as you can tell not the perfectly not a nicely stacked trailer but i got it in that is the main thing um to quickly get the back of this trailer up and then hopefully all of that will stay in there if i lose some on the road that will not be good um no point strapping it in Nah, don't see the point. Um, with these containers though, obviously there is no space to get them in there. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I might just keep hold of them for now. They might come in useful for something in the future. We'll have to find out. Um, but I have already been on Google Maps. We have already found um, where the local tip is. So I think if we get in the Land Rover and then we'll head off over there and try and get rid of all this stuff. Let's get in here and hit the road. Right, let's quickly get our fired up. There we go. Right, let's get it all shut up. Lovely. Right, quickly get our belt on. And then we should be good to go. Um, hopefully it's not too difficult to find. Um, it's going a direction that I haven't been before, so it's all new. But I hope that all stays in the trailer. Oh well, I'll have to wait and see. Get turned around here and see if anything's fell out the back of it. Um, so that trailer over there, you know, the little the fuel tanker that I got on eBay, it seems to be doing pretty good on eBay at the moment. Got a good few bids. Um, I think we're up at £175 on it at the moment, so hopefully soon, well it ends in a couple of days time, so I'm hoping someone's going to take that, well I mean if I can get £200 on it, I'll be very happy, so we'll just have to wait and see really, but um, other than that, I mean I haven't really had that much time to get up to the yard here, um, so I haven't done any work on the Ford at the moment yet, so... Um, try and get out here a little bit more soon and then I'll have a little look at it try and get a bit more progress done to it really right so it should be up this way but it's all new territory up here never been up around this part so it'd be quite nice to go and have a look see what's about around this way quite a weight in the trailer but I gotta say, I mean, I know I say this dear enough every time I'm out on the road, but I mean, it's a beautiful area, isn't it? I don't think you can argue with that. Oh, look, a bit of windmill. Wow. Ooh. So I think this way, according to my sat nav. Just got the sat nav running on the phone, so it's ideal. beautiful area up here so some of you are probably wondering when we're far when we are actually going to get some farm work done don't you worry I'm planning to do some soon I'm going to look at some tractors in a few days time so I'll bring you guys along on the journey with me to go and have a look at them um, I haven't really got a fixed price range obviously we got 50 grand so it's whatever we can find for that price really but 
obviously I don't want to blow all my budget on one tractor so I'm going to try and find something nice and cheap then um, you know we don't really have to you know we've got the money then to invest into other stuff I don't want to put all my money into a tractor and then just be stuck being able to do anything oh okay what, is it this way up here Oh, quite a tight little road closed the head down there, okay. Trailer's pulling lovely. Ideal. Oh, right, we've got a pick. Right, okay, going to my phone right across here. Um, got a job to tell. Can't really see that well. Right, yeah, we're good. Let's go. Down this way. Nice little um, yard up here. Yeah, quite a nice yard up here. Wonder if anyone who owns that needs any help in the future. You know, be ideal, wouldn't it? Bit of work to come our way. So I don't want to go too quick. I don't want the stuff flying out the back of the trailer. It seems like this um cycling centre or, you know, the dump. Seems to be in the middle of nowhere. Quite a way out. Ah, wait a minute. I think this could be the place here. It's looking like it. This is looking like the spot. Yep. Here we are. We're here. Right. Right, I'll get ourselves parked up. Then I'll have a little chat to the guys and find out where they want you know what 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 um skips are for what um the problem is it's not too, it's not too busy here which is ideal um right let's try and get this maneuvered into one of the bays i'm gonna be sticking out though and i uh let's go for it let's try it Oh, I don't know, I'm getting a bit tight on that transit. Yep. I, um, should be alright, I would have thought, actually. Nah, I don't think I'm going to park up in the bay. I think, actually, if we go down that end bay there, that'll work out better, wouldn't it? At least then we're not in the way of anyone. Very small um, area here. It's not, you know. I should have really looked before I pulled right out. Then got a wave it though. God, everything's moving around in the trailer. I hope I haven't lost anything. That wouldn't be good. Right, I think if we go with that there, I think we should be good there. Shouldn't be in the way, hopefully. Wait a minute, the trailer's moving around a bit. Brakes are a bit harsh on this thing. Right, okay. I think we should be good there. Right, let's get it turned off. Anyway, I'll quickly go and chat to the guys, find out where they want me to dump this stuff, and then I'll be back out of you guys. Um. A little bit later on, I think I'll get back to you once I've actually unloaded everything. So I'll see you guys in a bit. There we go guys, all sorted, all unloaded, um, luckily, um, 
It was all in one skip. Save me sorting through it all and everything like that. The guy just said, just whack it in that one skip and that'll be fine. So, I couldn't complain about that. Um, I did notice though, look, they got a massive wheel loader over there. You know, that's a nice bit of kit. I think that's a JCB over there. But, I bet you that is brilliant to drive. Massive old thing though. Shame we can't go down and actually have a look around it. That'd be pretty cool, but, you know, fortunately, health and safety stops you from being able to do that stuff. Anyway, right, I think if we get this trailer put back up, there we go, sorted, and I think we're good to go. Let's get back to the yard, um, yeah, and get this trailer put back away, I guess. But, I've got to say, the trailer coming very useful today. Yeah, as I was saying, the trailer's coming very useful, got to say. That was a good purchase. It's a lot more, I should get a lot more in here than if I was just going in the back of the Land Rover there. Hardly any space at all. Anyway, let's get that fired up. Let's get our belt on. And let's hit the road. Let's get back home. Well, back to the yard. So, yeah, luckily, it's actually quite a bit. I'm glad that I found this tip here now, though. I mean, you know, it's somewhere that I'll be able to get rid of some rubbish. You know, if we ever get some jobs or whatever like that, we've got to get rid of some stuff. Perfect place to go, so it's been ideal. It's not too far away as well, which is quite nice. Got all these birds in the road. Come on, there we go. So yeah, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get back to the yard, get this trailer away, and then obviously I'll be leaving it there for today. I ain't got much more planned for today. Um... I'm hoping to get into doing the fall a little bit more soon. We'll try and get a bit more progress done on that. But I think, first of all, we're going to go tractor shopping. We're going to try and find a couple of tractors. I'm going to make a few phone calls, try and find something. And hopefully it's local as well. So I've got right away there, I'm guessing so. God, these are... Some of these cut hedges need cutting back. I can hardly see. Right, I think we're good. So yeah, like I said, go track the shopping. Um, I'm gonna, um, you know, try and look at a couple so we can kind of get a feel of what we want to go for, and it gives a bit of a choice as well. Just looking at one and going for that, I think it's not going to be a good idea. So we'll go for look at a couple of tractors, try and see what we can find. Like I said, more local the better. Um, also, with the grassland that I've got, I've been trying to wonder what I'm going to do with it, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know whether to, you know, try and get a good yield out of it or just let it grow out, you know, be natural, um, grow naturally for wildlife. I'm not quite sure. I haven't quite decided. I'm still in early spring at the moment, so hopefully, you know, if I do decide to do something with it, obviously I've got to do it quite early. Um, if any of you guys got any suggestions, you know, do we actually try and improve the yield on it? And if we do, how would we improve the yield on it? I know that there's like common ways of doing like manure and stuff like that, but unfortunately, I don't have any of that myself. And, oh wait a minute, I have taken a wrong turn here. Okay, I do not know where I am now. But, I quite like the look of this area quite nice what's that? It looks like an old state the stables or something Wait a minute, what is that there it looks like an old bunker I did didn't it you know what I'm gonna park up I'm gonna go have a little look at that oh looks like this roads a bit flooded here it's starting to flood anyway yeah, if we park here we'll have a little, little look Right. Well, let's get out and we'll have a little look at see what that was. I'm not quite sure what it was actually. It looked like a bunker. Right. There we go. Should be good there, shouldn't we? Off the road. Yeah, so what is this over here? Maybe me missing my turning has been a good thing. Go and have a little look at a bit of history. Even though. Quite a weird position. 
As you can see, the water level here is getting quite high. I reckon that farm there might get prone to flooding, you know. What have we got here, then? Huh. Actually, is a bunker. Look at this, an old... What is this? Is this going to be an AA gun? I'm not quite sure what it would be. But... Yeah, it must be an AA gun. got to say, though, it is in such a weird position. What did this defend up here? Unless it was just for shooting down planes, but... I'm not sure, really. Unless this river was a lot bigger than this. It might have had, like, water that went out quite a way years and years ago. Maybe they did have ships and everything like that coming up this way. Um, I'll be able to get in it. Have a little look inside. A little goat. Quite a hell of overgrown here, though. Really overgrown. No, I can't get past this really overgrown there, blocking me in. I have to cut that all down to be able to get in there, so... Probably the farmer over there is probably wondering who the hell I am, you know, just ever walking around with a camera. It might even be his property, I'm not sure. But, wow. got to say, I was not expecting to find one of these. But, but it's such a weird position. Honestly is. Must have been for planes. I'm, it's the only thing I could think of. Shooting down planes or whatever. But that just shows how... You know, how beautiful um, Chellington Valley is. There's probably loads of hidden wonders around. Loads of bits of history. They're always quite interesting to go and look at, isn't they? You know, have a look at all the stuff from the past. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get home. Problem is, I'm not really sure where I am now. Well, we'll just continue down the road and we'll see what ends up happening, really, I guess. Right, get back in here. Ideal. Right. Get belted back up. We'll hit the road. So that ended up being... Yeah, I'm quite quite interested about that that was quite intriguing might have a little look online and see the history of this area to be honest see why they do have old bunkers and that laying around here or anything else lying around some hidden gems somewhere is there anyway what was I saying before we end up taking the wrong turn um, I'll talk about the field wasn't it so yeah tell if you guys have got suggestions on what we could do with it. I mean, I know that some people do roll in to try and improve the yield, and also um, spreading, you know, um, fertilizer spreading, not like manure. So, where am I? Good way. Wait a minute, that's the road to Colton, wasn't it? So, I think it is this way to the right. Yeah, this is that main road, isn't it? Yep. I know where I am now. Right, let's get going. Ideal. Oh, but yeah, I'm um, sorry it's taken so long to get this vlog out. Um, I've got some private work on my um, for myself and I've been busy doing that really. Um, it's just trying to find the time to get up to the yard to actually do some recording for you guys. But, you know, there's only so many hours in the day unfortunately. And it just, you know, it's just finding the time to do it. Get up here, bring you some content. I know that quite a few of you guys are really enjoying the videos and... Obviously, I want to be able to keep up and keep bringing new stuff for you to be able to watch. But, you know, it's whenever I've got the time, really, unfortunately. But I'm going to try and get them out a lot faster. Try and get up to this yard a lot more often. Like I said, I really want to try and get cracking off that board at some point. But, like I said, it's all time. That's the only issue about it. Anyway, we are back. Finally here. Um... I don't think I'm going to bore you guys with trying to get this trailer back in. We, you know, you saw me having the struggle of doing that last episode. So I'll quickly shut this off and then I can talk to you guys without the engine in the way. There we go. I can hear myself think a little bit more now. But anyway, um, yeah, like I said, next vlog, next few vlogs, we'll be going off to do some tractor shopping. We'll do some stuff with that. Let's hop out. It's going to get a bit of fresh air. 
There we go. I don't want... Ah, lovely. Yeah, so try and do a little few, you know, go off and have a look at them. Try and see what's about. Hopefully local stuff. Hopefully that trailer gets sold in the next couple of days as well. Fingers crossed we get the £200 on it. That'll be, that'll be lovely. So, yeah, as I was saying, I want to do a little bit with this field. Don't know whether to do some baling off it or whether to try and do a bit of silage. I'm not really sure. I haven't decided. It's not a huge area, is it, really? But I think it's probably worth trying to do something with it, you know. Um, something to bring some money in, hopefully. Um, but, yeah, just love that view. Absolutely stunning. Straight after the castle. Really nice. But anyway, I think what I'm going to do, I'll leave you guys here. Like I said, I hope to try and bring another video out to you guys very, very soon. But thank you so much for watching. Please take care. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.